I don't think anyone really expected how well the fish would respond to dam removal. Even last year, right after the final coffer dam was breached down at Iron Gate, like a week later there was fish swimming by. A week after that there was fish right here spawning in Jenny Creek. I didn't expect that and I don't think anyone did. And then we saw thousands of fish swim by Iron Gate and then hundreds of fish were spawning in, in not only Jenny Creek but Fall Creek and, and Shovel Creek and all the way up into Spencer Creek within a month of the final breach of that coffer dam at Iron Gate. So now it's been one whole year and again, the fish response has been surprising. We're still kind of early in the run here at Jenny Creek and in the dam removal area. Already we're seeing fish using these tributaries in the restoration reach, but also fish have incredibly swam up into Oregon and, and into Spencer Creek, but also over the fish ladder at Kino Dam and then over the fish ladder at Link River Dam. And now we're seeing fish all the way up into Upper Klamath Lake and up into the Williamson River and up into the Sprague River. So that's like, and that's just one year after the dams were removed and we're seeing fish in the Williamson and Sprague. That's just amazing. I think it would have exceeded anyone's expectations. It's a, an incredible time to be a part of this project and an, an incredible time to be a Yurok tribal member. It's an incredible time to work for the fisheries department or the construction company or just in general, if you, if you care about rivers, uh, this is an incredible time seeing the Klamath heal um, in real time.